Yeah, how's it going, guys? It's Richard Unicorn Caller here, and I hope you guys are having a better weekend than I did, because last weekend was very exhausting. But let's just jump right into the news. It is over! The free membership is over. Now, remember, this was lasting all the way through the 19th, so I really hope that everybody made use of their free membership time um, way better than I did, because... Quite frankly, last weekend was just a very, very exhausting weekend uh, for Wizards 101. But hopefully you guys managed to, you know, take advantage of the free membership and stuff like that. So basically this means that, you know, if you don't already have, like, a recurring membership, um, your account will basically go back to, like, you know, free-to-play access. And, of course, you'll lose all the benefits such as, like, an increased backpack space and increased friends list and stuff like that you know so just keep note of that i know that everybody always has like an overfilled backpack and has to like put items in their bank and stuff like that so make sure you do check out your backpack and all that other stuff but yeah that is it and hopefully we do get it again maybe sometime in like the summertime or something like that because these are really cool i think steam also, there wasn't one one on Steam. It also had, like, all-time peak players. I didn't get the full count, but I definitely got to check that out because that is interesting data. So, you know, the free memberships do help them out or at least gain a little bit more interest in the game. So, um, we'll see what happens in the future, and, yeah, hopefully we get some again. And then over here, we got the Charity Rex Mount. This is going to go up to stack up to support the veterans. It's going to last all the way through the end of May. So make sure to check it out. All the proceeds go to the charity. And yeah, I've been wanting to get this charity mount, but I'm running out of money, man. I I'm running out of money. Over here, we got the Floating Lands Resort Bundle. Another high-priced item, except... Well, this one's just a regular bundle. This is like your regular bundle. The charity mount is just like 10 bucks, I think. And this is just the uh, $40 bundle, which we talked about. And this is basically the shared bundle. So you get both the items for, you know, Wizard 101 and Pirate 101. We talked about the Pirate 101 side not actually getting the outfit that you're seeing right now. Um, only Wizard 101 players will get the outfit. The Pirate 101 card just includes, you know, the resort, the mount, and then the pet, and then that additional house elixir. We had talked about that. But overall, I heard it's a pretty cool bundle, so hopefully everybody does like it. In terms of other bundles, this one is still av available. This is the Dino Bundle, so you can check this out all the way through May 22nd. Make sure to have fun with that. If you wanted to extend your membership a little bit more, remember that they have this little membership and crowns bundle. You basically get six month Wizard 101 membership plus 8,250 crowns for only $59.99. Make sure you take advantage. It is gonna last all the way through May 21st. So have fun with that. Lastly, we also got the Myth Decathlon event, which is also still available now through Monday. So basically today is the last day to do the Myth Decathlon. Make sure you claim your credits. And then we also have the last day for the Spiral Showcase event. So make sure, again, you are taking advantage and accumulating all of those event points. And then over here, if you wanted to just buy some KI merch, you know, hoodies, hats, etc., I mean, my wallet is crying, so I can't even do anything. But hopefully you guys have, you know, fun with that and just, you know, buy some merchandise. And then over here, a reminder that Ravenwood Academy is still on Steam. You can wishlist it right now just to get some notifications about when or whenever it is coming. It says coming soon, and I think we read an article before saying that it was coming, like, later in the year. But overall... It looks like a pretty cool game. I look forward to checking it out, and I'm sure all the uh, WizTubers are excited to show the little uh, walkthroughs or gameplay footages of it. So, you know, it looks fun. It, you know, if it costs too much, like like I said, we're like the bottom of the barrel for the wallet, man. <laughs> we're at the bottom of the barrel, man. I, I can't anymore. I can't. I actually just spent money uh, to give one of the WizTubers some, uh, whatchamacallit, a video game, Call to the Lamb, which is on sale right now. They're having their 15th anniversary. And I played Call to the Lamb before. I haven't really, like, recorded much gameplay of it. But 
I uh, decided to do that because I know everybody has been down in the dumps lately. As a matter of fact, and I just keep forgetting about this over and over again, but apparently this month is like Mental Health Awareness Month, which is pretty wild. Maybe that's why I'm probably just like out in the dumps lately. I'm actually going to go to the gym um, early today. That's why I woke up early and uh, basically just kind of pump up some iron, just kind of get out some unpent rage <laughs> that's off the camera, but yeah, you know, definitely make sure you take some time to, like, de-stress and, I don't know, do yoga, eat some fruit, I don't know, go outside, maybe take a walk, and especially, and I can't recommend this enough, especially get off of Wizard 101. <laughs> I know a lot of people play it a lot, and I know it can become a little exhausting, um, definitely don't get burnout from it. Um, definitely take a break from social media as well. And, you know, hang out with friends and family and stuff like that. We were gonna go raiding, actually, Saturday. However, um, a lot of people, well, a few people didn't show up and a lot of people were just busy. So, this time, we're gonna try Friday. Because I, myself, was also busy on Saturday. That's usually my family time. But hopefully Friday... We finally do the Azteca Raid. I've been wanting to do this Azteca Raid for the longest time ever. And I have a few of the badges for it because it is a pretty interesting raid. And I've read the guide a billion times. Remember I showed you that one slideshow of like all of the raid tips and tricks and stuff like that. You know, what spells you need, you know. All the strategies for each boss. And quite frankly, the raids have always had, like, unique badges that are pretty cool. You know, this is the Nullifierist, and this is basically defeating the Nullity final boss in the Voracious Void Raid 50 times. I didn't even realize that I did that raid 50 times, or at least defeated Nullity 50 times, man. Good times, man. Good times. But it does have some pretty cool, you know... Badges did not pass go. The layer of death's plan. That's probably like one of my favorites. Revenant revealer, blah 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 blah, etc. etc. There's gonna be more badges that I can see soon. Um, whenever we decide to, you know, put things in high gear and actually raid. Because once we do the Azteca raid once in the guild, then I'm just gonna like splurge on the chest, you know, just buy the chest over and over again. And I'll probably never touch the Azteca Raid ever again, right? It actually would have been, like, the perfect time to actually do the Azteca Raid that previous weekend, right? Because um, we also had that fishing membership benefit, which is still active if you still have membership. Um, so, yeah, that would have been really come in handy, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Here's another cool uh, badge. Um, this is called the Star Lord. And this is basically collecting a thousand power stars in the Voracious Void Raid, which, as you guys know me, I always love hanging out on the outside of the team and just, like, stepping on drums and all that stuff and then pulling the mobs and all that fun stuff. Good times, man. Good times. But anyways, that's pretty much it, honestly, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the news. I mean, it's a Monday, and it is super early, so they probably haven't really, like, you know, announced much lately. It probably might be a Mega Monday, which, you know, typically is always when they have, like, a Mega Snap Pack on sale sometimes. I mean, sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't, but beyond that, that's pretty much it. You know, just the general reminders that, you know, stuff is expiring soon. Some of the bundles, uh, you know, the crown, chip, the crown shop and, like, membership stuff you know so just check it all out and you know have fun with that go buy some stuff if that helps you out with your mental health but beyond that i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna let you guys go enough yapping from me have a wonderful monday and yeah i guess i will see you guys later <laughs> see you guys tuesday hopefully we get some more news by then might upload some other videos too because i've been playing a lot of the uh, playstation 5 lately so Definitely keep on the lookout for some of my other game content, but um, yeah, until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.